So, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Black Sheep Beauty. This is Nicole. I know y'all probably know who I am from my uh, family channel. I um put it. I have already did the brows with the Fenty brow wiz thing, whatever. Uh, no, this is the fly laundry, y'all. And I really don't even know if I'm using this today. What did I do with it? I can't find it, but I have already primed. I already cleaned my face. I have already primed. I have already put on Fenty. I'm in shade 420. Uh, it, that, that's supposed to be my match because in ours, I'm Macau, and Macau match is me. Like, y'all don't even see where I started in it. Like, I was I was shook it, but I don't got $50 for that. Like, mm -mm. And I have already did my brows with Fenty. And it's not this. This is the eyeliner. And it, it must be under all these ring like covers. And I just don't even feel like y'all. Like, I'm already even draw. My camera died on a previous video and it really pissed me off. So I'm trying to just go ahead and save it. But what I'm going to do for you guys right now is show y'all, I guess, the rest of my makeup routine. I didn't do a whole start because y'all will be here forever. I take my time with my stuff. This is. Too Faced Born This Way, I believe. I don't know if it's Born This Way or just Too Faced. This is called Born This Way. Yeah, it's called Born This Way. This is in the shade Butterscotch, and this is in the shade Mocha. Uh, Mocha, I normally put around my lips and stuff, but I'm not going to do that. Mm. I'm going to do it. I was going to say I'm not going to do that because I'm actually trying to show y'all what the world this Fenty Beauty is. But I'm going to do it because that's what I normally do. And I put one coat on. I know that the Fenty Beauty, you can build it up. But... I'm already starting to see texture on my face, and with the other one, I don't, but with the hydrated one, I can. I'm not getting paid for this. No, I'm still going to keep this. I'm not sending this back or nothing like that. So, yeah. And like I said, I think this in time. Normally, I highlight with butterscotch. I'm going to try a chestnut. Yeah, I'm going to try a chestnut with y'all. I got another brush and this is the elf one this is for my eye crease this is for concealer so i'm just gonna show y'all how i do my uh makeup it ain't as soft as it can be but this is in the shade butterscotch and i just go here I just go down. Some people don't, like, people tell you not to uh, highlight like this. And I go on my nose like this. I do the little sunset for my forehead. And I also do down here. That's it. I go back in with butterscotch and what I do is I take this and I just prime my eyelids y'all and I'm gonna just let this dry down along with the whatchamacallit and yes y'all I look crazy but you gotta just trust the process Y'all are going to get a review of, uh, well, y'all don't get my first impression of Jackie Anna, uh, what is that? Collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah, this eye is always acting stupid or I don't know. It don't ever go on as good as it do with the other one with my right eye, this left eye. So, okay, y'all. This is how I look. Crazy as hell right now, right? Yeah. And some people put on lip gloss and lipstick and all this stuff while they doing this. I don't do none of that. So, what I like to do is kind of let the under eye bake. I learned that from Jackie Anna. Uh, so, I'm going to do that. 
Uh, and for people that's watching this, it's like, girl, where's your contour? I don't really never contour like here. I just bronze the contour. I don't, I don't, I don't see the point of doing that. It looks very unnatural because what you're doing, what I'm doing, what I've done now already looks unnatural as hell. So, yeah. And yeah, I know I love Fenty Beauty, but this is Coco Naughty, and this one is Mocha Miami. Mommy, my bad. Ugh. So, I think this, yeah, this is the darker one, and it's been used, y'all. Like I said, I ain't no beauty channel, so don't, don't, don't come over here. Don't clock me for what it look like. Oh, yeah, and y'all can hear the voice in the background because I do have a family channel. I don't know if y'all just seen the, uh, the tutorial or the chit-chat get ready with me or whatever. You know, it's like, I'm just gonna see how she do her makeup or what, but yeah, I had two boys. Yeah. I can never open this stuff up with no nails. Like, no shade to Riri because I love her packaging. Like, it's beautiful. But, yeah, I seen how easy it was for me to open up the other one. But how I'm struggling with this one, this is normally how I struggle with both of them. Okay. So, this is the one that I had got first. And I felt like it was a little too light to, like, contour with. So, I went back and got this one. And, like, everybody say, it does look red, but it don't go on red. Like, it looks red in the pan, but it don't go on like that. And this one looked more calm and I was just like, it's more so towards my skin tone. And I normally just contour my uh, nose with this, with uh, the light one. And I contour around here with a dark one. This is Mocha <laughs> from Maybelline. I'm just using this so that I can use it up. But I just go here. And it's pretty close to my shade because I be wanting to look natural. And I might go through there on my nose. Close up to my eyebrows, y'all. And I never use a lot of this just because I'm not trying to look like that. I ain't trying to look too snatch. And my mirror. Yeah, y'all can see it. My mirror's right here. On the camera, y'all can see it. But I don't let it dry or none of that. I just go directly into this, into my eyebrows. And sometimes I just get close to where my eyebrows start and do it like that. And yes, I do contour my whole nose, but I contour it with a... Uh, with this. And I go into the lighter one and do it, but... I always wait till I do my patterns first. I'm going to have to go get the rest of my brushes, y'all. So, I'll be back. All right, y'all. I did go out and buy a brand new beauty blender for just this or whatever. Uh, but this is what my old trusty looked like. And I have cleaned it and cleaned it and cleaned it. And the makeup just won't come out. So, how do these regular, how do these beauty gurus actually get this stuff out? Uh, girl, I don't know. So, it done sat around... For probably about five minutes or so. So I just still put this. I'm lying. I normally take this. And I'm just not trying this, y'all. It's for a matte finish, so I do not know how it's going to do. But I, they didn't have no, uh, what is that? The regular black one by uh, Maybelline. So I'm trying to do one, and we're gonna see how that we're gonna see how that do. Or I normally use Urban Decay, the All Nighter, or Maybelline, the black one. But I didn't see it, so whatever. But to get this video up, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Normally, I don't have no problems with setting spray. Yeah, I can't believe I finally found a Jackie Imus collaboration. I just really cannot. So, like I said, I'm not used to doing this. This is actually kind of weird. Oh, yeah. Maybe if I move my mirror, y'all will be able to see how I blend this out or whatever. So, yeah, see, it blends seamlessly. Like, I I was going to get the Fenty Beauty uh, concealers, and I'll probably still go back and get it, but just not today, so it's because I already spent about $300. 
on makeup alone. Well, y'all know I didn't spend it, but duh. So, I'm gonna take this and because my eyebrows, I don't like how they are looking. They are not normally when I use this, uh, what do you call it? This gel, it'll all sit back down, but it's not. And I can't find my Fenty Beauty brow thing that I had because that's how I did my eyebrows today. Yeah, I should have already got the video up by now. But yeah, I have to take these ring things off my camera down a lot of stuff. So I honestly misplaced that. So that's actually my fault. Uh, what was I using? Okay. And when I do under my eye, I go ham on the setting spray because I want that to sit and set. I did not get the uh, Fenty Beauty setting powder because I still have some, but it's actually low, so I'm trying to get Jay to give me some more. I don't know. He, he might, but he might not. Because he look like girl. But y'all, uh, I'm going to try to get Jay to give me that Fenty Beauty, the Fenty, Fenty Beauty one. Uh, in a color, in a shade, honey. Because it looked like it was the most, like, yellow one. And yes, this look harsh right now, y'all, but uh, I promise it's going to all blend in. Because Jay was one of the main person to talk about, I should start a beauty channel. And this is the main reason why I was like, <laughs> no. Because who got this type of coin, y'all? And sometimes I start, like, through here so I can kind of control the product. But I actually went ham on concealer, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 see how crazy I look right now? I went ham on the concealer. And I normally... be good with this but no not today yeah look at this look at this i look like i already put some damn baking powder on y'all see how good my forehead and my nose and stuff turned out like this is this be the fuck up and i be like dude i am not gonna sit here and be trying to show anybody how to do no damn makeup but the good thing is with contouring it could all come back to life Also, y'all, I use two type of setting powders. I still got a lot of this, but I got this setting powder. I learned this from, damn, with it open? Or is it just closing tighter? This Aerospun from Aaliyah J, and I think it's actually uh, organic. But Aaliyah J is like light skin, and I'm like dark skin as fuck. But it actually does work. And y'all, I don't. use this to set but i will say i did used to use it to set and it's actually the truth and i just go over my highlighted areas with this and i kind of just type it tap it tap it in like that like y'all i'm gonna look snatched this hell so i'm married in the eyes so I'm going into this Coco Naughty, just taking this brush and going into it like that. And that's how I'm going to finish contouring with this. And that's going to take away some of that powder that I put on there. That was too much damn powder. Because like I said, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, sis. And I know some people be like, you shouldn't contour your nose. Because, like, y'all, I fully understand uh, what you call it. Uh, shit, y'all. 
European standards and stuff like this. But y'all, let me say this. European standards, this type of contour and all this stuff did not start from European standards. It just, it came from, you know, transgenders and stuff like that doing their makeup want to look more like a woman. But okay. Like some sometimes, like I get the whole black black stuff and stuff like that. But sometimes y'all be reaching, y'all be reaching, sis. Sometimes y'all be reaching. But I know it's gonna be somebody that don't know me. They be like, oh, yeah. you contour your nose? Yes, sis. I contour my nose with bronzer. See, y'all see how good that bronzer did. Now, when I was using foundation, sometimes I used to do it like too much. Like y'all, this highlight is really like I feel like a villain or something. Let me go turn that movie back on, y'all. All right, y'all. So, I know it probably looked like I did. No, it don't. Okay. I was going to say it looked like I did something, but I didn't. So, what I'm going to do now, since I highlighted it too much, this is the thing that I like about makeup. I'm just going to go right back over here. Y'all probably can't see the damn contour. Around my forehead, I do not contour, like... Normally, but I'll put like two little things just for video purposes. And I also do this. It kind of makes my lips look bigger, give you the illusion. Cause that's, that's all contour as well. And I'm going to blend it out. Well, in. And yeah, some of my old videos where y'all had wanted me to contour. My whole style is different. Like y'all had wanted to see how I do my makeup. And I like this cause I can just blend it out like that. Y'all see that? And this is a real technique, technique, technique brush. Y'all see the little wig lifting. Somebody gonna be in my comments trying to drag me. It's always a hater. And I just buff it in, y'all. Like, that's it. Like, that's all I do, y'all. That's it. Like, my makeup stuff is not... To me, it's not that complicated. Okay. So, I'm going to take some of this Maybelline stuff on this raggly one. And try to sit under my eye. Because I'm going to put the shadow on. Okay. And what I do to scope out my thing. I just take some of this. And do it on both sides. And if y'all like me, not a professional, a beginner, whatever, it don't gotta be perfect because ain't nobody gonna know unless you just do it too, too well. Ain't nobody even gonna notice it. So I just be like, oh, yeah, sis. But like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a, Makeup Shayla, I'm not a Jackie Aina, and I'm not a, uh, who is that? That girl does her makeup, bomb, Aaliyah J. I, I'm, I'm not none of that. None of that, sis. So, while this concealer has sat here, I'm gonna take my arrow sponge and kind of set the concealer. And it don't matter what brand this you use, and really something, you don't really even gotta use them concealer but y'all yeah when i blend everything all it's gonna come together like yeah i gotta trust the processes so y'all this is my finished product this is the finished look uh with the fenty pro filter on i like it uh i wish somebody really turned down any stuff so i could talk in my video but this is the Fenty Pro Filter. I kind of sculpted this out a little too much, but yeah. 
but this is the finished look this is the finished face this is the jackie Ina and anastasia beverly hills so my eyes look like i don't know if y'all can see it but yeah like i have to come back and let you guys know what the wear test look like thank you guys for watching this video i will see you guys on the next video peace